I've been playing around with making stamp pads on the CNC machine. This is super easy to do, it's a lot of fun, and you can get some really cool results. So this is a little minion guy that I made. This is Schedule 40 PVC plumbing pipe. You can heat this stuff up, sandwich it between two pieces of wood, and flatten it and use it for a lot of cool things. I've made litho panes and washers and all kinds of stuff out of this. And it also works really well for making stamps. So there's another video on how to make these, but the stamp process, I'll go over that. Really easy to use with free software using Inkscape and JS Cut, and we can make stamps. So this is just a piece of PVC, and we've cut our little guy out, and we can make stamps. Standard size felt pad, about three and a half inches by two inches. So let's go over to the computer and show how this is done. Okay, so the first step in this is just opening up Inkscape. Fantastic program. And we're going to set our parameters to match the size of that stamp pad. So the stamp pad is about three and a half by two inches. So let's set that up first. Go to Document Properties. That way it changes over two inches. We're going to change this so that we've got a square that matches our stamp. The width is about 3.5 and the height was about 2 inches. So there's our stamp pad. Let's make that larger, easier to work with. And there's our stamp pad. So the next step in this is to figure out what we want to make a stamp of. And text can be used just by typing the text through here. Images are cool, so I'm going to go grab an image off offline. Anything that you can see online, you can copy and bring into Inkscape. So the next thing is to bring in an image that we want to create into a stamp. Again, here is our stamp pad size. This is about three and a half inches by about two and a half inches. So I went online, just grabbed, grabbed an image, and we're going to reduce this down in size to fit on our stamp pad. You can use any image that you see, text, or anything that you see online. Some work better than others, depending on how thick the lines are. Sometimes real thin lines get a little bit lost. But the first step we need to do is to turn this into a trace because right now this is an image and it needs to be a vector. So we go to path, trace, and now we've traced it. So this is our vector and this is our image and you can see the difference in the clarity. So this will be super sharp, doesn't matter how big it's blown up. And the more this blows up, the more jagged that gets. So we'll delete this guy and we'll resize this guy. Make sure that he fits on there nice and nice and cleanly. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to give this a background so we can separate it from, from the back to make a stamp. So we're going to make a box. And we're going to push this box to the back. So lower to the bottom so that we can see our, our image on top. 
And there we go. The next thing to do is to do a difference between our image and the background for our stamp. So again, this is very easy. We click in the middle for our image, hold down the shift button, and click outside the image. Go up to path and difference. Now what this does is it outlines the stuff that we're going to cut which is going to be the darker color, the red. And what won't be cut will be proud. It'll be the white that's sticking out here. And that's what will make our stamp. So we're going to save this just as an SVG. And then open up JS Cut for our tool paths. I've opened up JS Cut. This is jscut.org. It's a fantastic program. I'm running this locally um, on a standalone machine but it works great online and there's nothing to download or set up. So let's open up our, our image that we created in Inkscape. <clears throat> so here's what we just created. I'm gonna change the cut speed to about 60. That works pretty well with the, with the PVC. Our pass depth. We're going to go 0 0.0625, and for the diameter I'm using a 16th inch cutter also. Next thing to do is to click on here, and again the white will not be cut, the blue will be cut. So we're going to do a pocket, 0 0.0625 is fine, and we go to generate. And that's pretty much our stamp. We can see what will be cut and what won't be cut. So we're going to save this. Actually, let's see how long this is going to take. It's a very, very short cut, 210 seconds. So we're going to save our G-code. and then open it up in Mach 3 and make a stamp. There's our little guy. I opened up Mach 3 and there's the stamp that we designed in JS Cut after first creating it in Inkscape. So we'll set the PVC down on the CNC machine and let this go. There's our piece of Schedule 40 PVC pipe that's been flattened and it's just held down with two little screws on the side. It would be easy to drill little holes in here also, but just something to hold down. I've even used double-sided tape in the past. There's our cutout. It only takes a few minutes. It's a very fast cut. So let's go in there, clean that up, and see what we have. There's our little minion-like guy. Need to clean this up a little bit. Just rub those little fuzzies off. And I think we'll have a pretty cool little stamp. So there's our little guy. What we need to do is cut this out. I've been using the scroll saw just to cut out our stamp. You could do another line in Inkscape or index it and put a couple tabs in and have the CNC cut it out as well, but it seems to work just as easily on here. And let's see what we've got. Haven't made a stamp yet with this one. So this was cut with the scroll saw and just the corners were sanded a little bit just to make it smoother. 
a stamp could be glued on the back or a piece of wood or something to give it an easier grip. But let's see what we've got. little project. I think my stamp pad needs a little bit more ink and a little more pressure on the back. You could do this with different colors of, of ink pads, all kinds of cool things. Kind of our little guy. This also works with sign foam and it gives a different kind of different kind of texture. The surface under here is not super smooth, which might also be playing with some of the uh, some of the effects. In fact, let's try this. See if this makes a better stamp. That's the process. Kind of fun. Different images work better than others. Sometimes if they're thicker on the outside you can get a better result. The ones I was making the other day with this little guy were kind of kind of cool. So there you go. Fun project. Thanks very much for taking a look.